played with uh, Xbox controller. Hello there, he is Penny, today from the Game Channel. I'm going to test with you the new release of EVI Driver. This time it's possible to work with uh, EVI Driver uh, in Gear VR. I'm already with my Samsung S9. And in this release also it's possible to work with EVI in Oculus Go, Oculus Quest 1 and 2. It's very good because I don't know if you know that uh, Gear VR was discontinued uh, last year, 2020. So, see my logo that after that I do a test with you. Hello, I'm back. And we, as I told you, I'm with uh, Gear VR here. You are seeing my screen here, and I have the app uh, EVI. But this app here is for Android. Uh, I'm going to teach you, show you how to install the version for Gear VR. At Steam, uh, you, are, you need to do some steps, and here it teach the steps that you need. Okay, you first you need to allow uh, USB, uh, USB debugging and activate uh, a thing that I'm going to show you in this give your service. How you activate your USB debugging at your screen in your Samsung S8, S9, or S10, you go to settings. You go to about phone, you go to software information, and after that in building number, you click seven times. And it act, act, if you do the, this, it activates the develop mode. If you return, you have here the option develop options. So what you need to do, you go inside you look for USB debugging. I'm just going to type and there is a USB debugging, as you can see here. You click and activate it on. Okay. Second step, you go again to settings. You go to apps, apps. I'm going to type in here again. You look for Gear VR service, Gear VR service, as you can see here. You click and you go to storage meter. You go to storage. You go to manage storage. And you need to activate Allo VR API without OS ID. I'm going to activate. Now it's possible to transfer the APK file apk app to the phone okay what i'm going to do now i'm my samsung is already uh, linked with the cable and this cable is in the computer what i'm going to do now the third step i'm going to run evi driver in my library and uh, the second option you are able to see uh, install gear vr oculus mobile app you click on it let me show you one thing in my mobile you are seeing the EVI driver here, EVI app in my mobile. I'm going to run. If you see, the app is not here anymore because the new version of the app for GVR is installed in my mobile. If I look for, for the new app, EVI, it's already here. Okay, I'm going to click on it. You're going to see the difference. See, now, it's waiting. I insert the uh, Samsung in my Gear VR. I'm going to do this now. But a very important thing. When you set your Samsung S9, S8, or S10 in your Gear VR, Steam VR cannot be running. I'm going to insert. You see, EVI driver is running in my mobile. Now you run again uh, EVI driver in on Steam. But now you work with the first option i'm going to run it's going to give a message that uh, connect your playstation vr turn on the headset you close sometimes you receive a message that steam vr ha has a problem what you can do you can restart steam vr see now it's working it's 
<laughs> it's a way I found to work again. The first time I always has this problem. I don't know. Maybe I'll update an next update it, fix it. So let me show the screen. It's working. Okay. A very important thing that I, sh I forgot to show you to link the controller. So before you start Steam VR and uh, UI driver, link your controller in your S9. Run again the UI. I'm going to insert the mobile. It's already working. I'm going to start in VR. First option. Okay, cancel. As I told you before. The same problem. I'm going to restart again uh, in VR. Now it's working with the controller. As you can see, let me show you. I have the controller here. You are be able to see the controller. It's working very, very well. Uh, one thing that I'd like to show you is that in text bar, you have the option that is an app settings, UI settings. You can do other configurations like become better, the performance, the change the encoder, this encoder is better. Ah, a very important thing. The one way that I found to the, the controller to work with uh, GVR in UI is to change it in track settings for Lighthouse. Okay. With the full, it's not was it was not working. I'm going to restart uh, Steam VR because I, I changed the encoder. Okay, I'm going to play a game uh, Project Car 2. Okay, I'm inside the game. I'm going to pass race. Could be this one. Okay, I'm inside the game. Okay, it's working pretty, pretty well. Playing with uh, Xbox controller. Oh, animation, it's very, very good. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it was one of the demonstration. It works pretty well. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. I like it very much. So, thank you very much. Give me a like if you like. Uh, subscribe my channel. Let's share knowledge. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.